Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I've struck camp now, just about to head off. But before I do, I wanted to do this little video on a tag that I received. Um, in fact, I think I've got it twice from um, uh, a couple of guys and I'll, I'll put them up on the screen. Uh, thanks very much for the tag. Uh, it's on giving a shout out and a mention and the reasons behind it for five channels over 500 subscribers and five channels under 500 subscribers. Now I start off with the ones over 500, I don't think there's going to be too many surprises in there, I guess you guys will probably know these people um, and you know their channels are, are really really good, they probably don't need a massive amount of support um, but you know these are the ones that I want to mention. Uh, this, as loads of people have said, there's so many that could have been chosen for this list, uh, but I've got specific reasons for uh, many of them on it. Um, I've got them down on a piece of paper so I didn't forget them. Um, I'm going to start off first and foremost with uh, somebody that is just enjoying a meteoric rise through both their channels, um, and it's absolutely no wonder when you see the the ability and capability of this guy in the things that he's taken on, the new skills that he's learned. Um, the, the outdoors is almost becoming the guy's indoors now. And the first one I want to mention is uh, Sandy from uh, First Channel G0VQW. But also I'm going to use it as a sneaky little, uh, sneaky little pimp for Sandy's other channel, which is Jack Law. Um, I've been following Sandy for quite a while, right from his you know, very first outings, um, right up to where he is now. Um, and it, the guy's just an inspiration, an absolute inspiration. Um, if you've seen his series on friction fire lighting and the bow drill, I mean I was just blown away by it. He, he's the person that really kind of inspired me to, to try and give it a go. Uh, sorry about my f hanky coming up to my face and all that, the, uh, the mozzies are out in force. Um, and if that wasn't enough on his on his first series around the uh, the bow drill, um, he's now gone and started making custom knives. And if you haven't seen them, if you haven't experienced the, the Jack Lord channel and the journey that Sandy's gone through with his knives, go and check it out um, because it's just blown me away completely and utterly. So uh, Sandy, you're my first one, over 500. Uh, the next one I want to mention is, is somebody that uh, is probably quite well known over in the US. I don't know how many people over here are aware of this guy, John. Um, and I want to give a second shout out to Intense Angler. On 4,448 subscribers now, just an absolutely awesome bloke. I mean, you know, so friendly, so hospitable in, in conversation. Um, I'm an angler myself, I'm a fisherman, so I, I love his channel, but even if you're not, he does a, a few bits of outdoors uh, and he's got another called, channel called Intense Outdoor as well. Um, does a thing called the Tip of the Week um, and welcomes introductions to the Tip of the Week from, you know, from anybody that supports his channel really. Um, just, just immense positivity, I, I mean I love the bloke, but also he's helped me out in another way as well. And I want to take the opportunity to say thanks very much for passing on the uh, the details around the the ribs where next guy I'm going to mention is somebody that I followed for quite a while as well really sort of great down to earth bloke loves what he what, what he's doing but he also loves involving his children as well um, and I think that's pretty special um, and uh, third mention for me on 532 subscribers is going to be Mick at Jester Bushcraft. Love your channels, mate. Really enjoy your videos. Um, keep doing them. I'll keep watching them and supporting you all along the way. So that's Mick at Jester Bushcraft. And number four on my list um, is actually a couple of lads that are both contributing towards the channel. Um, I believe they're only 16 or 17 years old, but certainly carry a maturity way beyond their years. Um, you know, certainly around the respect for the environment, using sharp, dangerous tools. Um, you know, their knowledge is, is just superb. And that's Bill and Josh, uh, Expert Survival. And I think you guys are up to about 857 subscribers now. 
Um, met, met them at the Bushcraft Show, really nice young lads. Um, enjoyed talking to you when we did. Shame we didn't get to spend more time with you up there. Maybe uh, next one. Um, and then lastly on my list of over 500 subscribers, uh, last but by no means least, is somebody that has really, really helped me out um, massively um, in the last few months. I mean, I've been following his channel for quite a while, um, but it's only really in the last few months when we've been talking about some requirements that I had um, that he helped me out with. Then we had a, a meet-up, um, and what he's done for me recently I'll explain in just a moment, but I don't think it's any surprise that my uh, my fifth and final person on the list, with uh, around about 1,518 subscribers, is uh, Scott Base Fury Wessex Blades. At the meetup, um, I had a chance to use a couple of Scott's larger blades. Um, I've never been a big knife man um, in a number of different ways. I've never been into big knives, and I've never been a big knife man in that it really wasn't something that interested me too much. Knife was a tool, I used it and that was it. Um, but I've been entertaining adding a large chopping style blade to my portfolio of tools, um, purely for the fact that I've never entertained it before and, and really it'd be silly not to look at all options. Um, and I've fired loads of questions at Scott, he's come back to me with really great answers on steel, grinds, makes, styles, um, and I shortlisted probably three different larger blades that I was and looking at. The guy at. went and sent me through a gift which was just phenomenal. Um, I can't say thank you enough times for it. Uh, he sent me through his own modified version of the Magnum Machete. So that was really, for me, the, the, the cherry on top of the icing on the cake. Uh, but I guess when people saw the video that I put up thanking him for it and unboxing it, um, it, it just maybe looked like it was a gift, which, which it was a gift, it was a fantastic one. Um, but actually there's a lot more behind it that I want to thank you, Scott, for as well. Um, so that's my five over 500. A number um, under 500, which may come as a bit of a surprise, certainly the, the final one I'm going to mention, is a chap from Norway, seems very down to earth, common salt of the earth type of guy. Um, up to, I believe, 50 subscribers on my last check. No airs or graces about him, and that's uh, Bumbling Bushcraft. So, uh, of course, I put all these names up on the screen as well, but that's Bumbling Bushcraft. Go and check him out. The next guy is a UK um, bushcrafter, um, up to about 54 subscribers now. Cool videos. I like his style. I think he's quite a cool bloke. Just started talking to him sort of on private message on PM. And uh, the second one I'm going to mention is David Fryers. Um, I've been enjoying your stuff, mate. Keep it up. Uh, but more importantly, enjoy it. That's the thing. Um, number three on my list is a young guy that uh, I want to support an awful lot, actually. It's, uh, it's a young lad that took an awful lot of stick from people that found his channel, um, realised that they knew who he was, and gave him a lot of grief for doing what he was enjoy enjoying doing. Um, the guy wants to have fun, he's very intelligent, again very mature for his age from what I can see. Um, had a channel called Bushcraft Cadet and is now on with a handle of Magic Woodsman 7. So I think he's up to about 31 subscribers now, I want you to go and check him out and give him as much support as you can as well. Um, I'd love to see him out doing a few bits, I don't know if he's a bit young to be out on his own but you know, I'm enjoying your stuff, mate, and I'll give you a lot of support, and I'll continue watching your videos and uh, and supporting you that way as well. Number four on my list is a guy that is really just started out. He's got about eight subscribers. Literally, only started posting videos in the last couple of weeks, but it's somebody that has been commenting on my channel um, quite a bit over the last few months, um, and I I think he's got probably got an, a lot to offer. It's just a hunch. Um, but I think he probably has got a few skills that he can share with us all that we can learn off as well. And that's going to be Gadget Dragon. Um, possibility of maybe meeting up at some point in uh, the next few months when I do a little tour around, uh, around the country. I've uh, got a week, week to play with, or probably five days to play with. 
Um, so Gadget Dragon, check his channel out, see what he's posted so far. Let's give him a bit of support and encouragement and hope to see a lot more from you, mate, as well. The final one is a real curveball. This is a channel that I'm going to mention. It's somebody that has um, told me they've been following my channel for a while. I haven't had much of a chance to speak to them. Um, they've got 12 subscribers at last count um, and really just started posting videos. Um, I think they've probably got about eight or nine up at the moment. Um, but there's a specific reason for me mentioning this person. I'll give a big shout out to Average Zoe Blogs. Um, the reason I do this is I think any of us that are into YouTube, we've got wives, girlfriends, other halves, uh, some would say better halves. If you get a chance, sit them down at the computer and just ping them over to Average Zoe Blogs channel. Just get them to have a little look at one or two of uh, Zoe's videos and just see whether that might change their mind about things. Just see if it introduces a new, a new angle to this whole um, EDC preparedness type mentality. That's my five. Again, I'm going to cover them off again. Bumbling Bushcraft, David Fryers, Magic Woodsman 7, Gadget Dragon and Average Zoe Blogs. Check the channels out, give them some support and uh, thanks very much. See you in the next video.